G'day everybody, Dan here from GI Energy. This video is going to show you how to set up your SunGrow battery for time windows of charging. This is good if you've got a tariff that gives you free energy or very cheap energy for certain periods of the day and you want to set a time on there so you can take energy from the grid to charge your battery. This is done on the desktop version um, for SunGrow only. We do have a longer video that explains the whole monitoring platform. This one just focuses in on that one function. So if you need more information about the rest of the platform, the other video will be, will be posted around the same time as this one. If we've missed anything, if you've got any questions, let us know, we'd be happy to help if we can. Thank you. One of the most important ones, now that people are installing batteries and trying to take advantage of potentially a VPP or a time-based tariff where there's very cheap or free energy for a certain window of the day is how you can set your battery up to automatically charge during those times. So for example, Ovo and Glowbird have a window of time where the kilowatt hour charge for energy is, is, is zero. Um, and you might want to force charge your battery during that time so you can get that free energy to top it up and then you can use your solar panels obviously elsewhere. If you want to set that up, you need to go into your um, plant configuration, uh, sorry, into your settings and then into your device parameters. And then we're going to click on, I'll just move me out of the way. We're going to click on the common settings. And then we're going to click here on your energy management parameters. And you can see they're force charged, force charging. That's disabled at the moment. So what we need to do is go in and enable that. And then we're going to check, click the time. So this is set on every day. You can change it to working days, but most of those tariffs I think are every day. So you'd go every day. And then here's where you check the start time. So if it was, let's say 11 a.m. And then the end time, let's say was 1 p.m. And then this part here, you have to put your target in. So the target state of charge of force charging one, you want to put that at 100%. Whether or not it gets there is obviously dependent on how much time and inverter capacity you have. The other thing that is worth noting here is when you set this up, all your battery will do is charge. It's not going to dispatch energy into your home. So it will take energy from the grid, it will charge the battery, but if you're using energy in the home, it's not going to dispatch it into the home at the same time. Probably not important if you're getting free energy from the grid at that time anyway, or very cheap energy from the grid, but something to note. If you want to do a second window, you can. So you can choose here the time to start the second window. So if you've got a free window during the day and then a very cheap window overnight, for example, or if there's two different time windows where it's free energy, that's where you set up both of those windows. Then you would click apply settings. I'm not going to do that because this is obviously somebody's live battery, but that's where you would apply those settings. If you ever want to check what those settings are, you click on the parameter query up here. And that's basically it. So that would then get that battery charging exactly when you wanted it to, when it was either free or very cheap from the grid. 